Live from Westminster in the heart of London this Friday lunchtime. It's uh, coming up to 48 hours, of course, since that terror atrocity, the worst terror atrocity we've seen in uh, London since 2005 in terms of mass casualties here in the British capital. Uh, plenty of questions still unanswered, although we have been given some more details about the man, uh, the attacker uh, in this particular incident. His name is Khalid Masood. He, of course, was killed by police officers uh, in the aftermath, the immediate aftermath of the attack in which he mowed down people on Westminster Bridge uh, in the heart of London and then went on to stab and kill a police officer within the parliamentary grounds. So how did Khalid Massoud become a terrorist? That is the main question that British investigators want answered as they desperately try to piece together all the clues about his identity and his many connections. The man behind Wednesday's London terror attack was born here in the UK, but he was born under the name Adrian Russell Ajao. He had multiple aliases and multiple convictions, some of them for violent crimes, but he was not linked uh, until now, of course, to any terror-related offences. So investigators want to know how exactly he became radicalised and, crucially, whether he acted alone. Will Geddes is Managing Director of International Corporate Protections and joins me now. Will, you will know this area around me as well. I don't know if our viewers can see, but there is already a perimeter fence uh, around the uh, Houses of Parliament. That's been in place for some time. What more can be done rather other than just putting up a fence around these buildings? Well, you know, it's a very good point, Hannah, and it's always going to be trying to strike uh, an even and sensible and pragmatic balance between, obviously, uh, uh, putting into effect uh, good security, obviously, to accommodate and to protect against the types of threats as we've seen uh, the other day. Nick Peyton Walsh is on Westminster Bridge for us, where people have been laying flowers and joins me now. Nick, describe for us the scene around you. It's bustling, to be honest, Hannah. You know, remarkable that... Uh, 40 hours or so ago here, uh, you would barely be able to get on here because of intense forensic activity by police. Tributes there to the victims of the terror atrocity from Wednesday. But now the focus of the investigation is very much on Khalid Massoud. Uh, this is the attacker, the perpetrator of these crimes. How did a British-born man in his 50s, who's 52 years old, become radicalised in the first place? Well, I'm joined now by John Gearson, who's a professor of national security studies at King's College here in London. Professor, thank you very much for coming down and speaking to us. Um, some of the newspapers today have described Khalid Massoud as a, a middle-aged thug-turned-terrorist. Um, he wasn't a millennial, perhaps not as impressionable as some of the other terrorists, would-be terrorists that we've seen over the years. How do you describe a 52-year-old committing these sort of crimes? Well, he fits certain profiles. I mean, there is no single profile of a radicalised uh, individual who turns to terrorist acts.